iOS 17 is here and I've got it in my phone right now and I wanted to show you how to make it really useful because there's so many tips, tricks and hidden features that you probably didn't know about. Let's dive right in to iOS 17. And the first thing that we always got to check about is the new wallpaper. So here's the first wallpaper that is the official iOS 17 wallpaper. It's awesome and there's also a dark mode version which is this one right here. I actually like the new wallpaper better than last year's version but there's actually a couple new wallpapers as well including the new Kaleidoscope uh, wallpaper which was previously a watch piece but it's now available as a wallpaper on your iPhone and there's actually a bunch of different styles, different colors that you can actually choose from. If we scroll to the bottom, there's more Unity wallpapers such as this one, which are as well available in different colors. And there's also new weather and astronomy wallpaper. So as you can see, we can actually choose between different planets such as Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, your anus. I had to. Neptune, solar system, and more. And what's cool is that they're actually beautifully animated. So let's go ahead and, and let me show you. So as you can see, as I swipe up, so you can see the wallpaper just goes down in this 3D effect of like, it does like this. It looks awesome. There's a lot of customization that we can do in the wallpapers, such as this icon right here will actually change the depth effect. So if we wanted under the wallpaper or above the wallpaper, we can also now change the text the font, if we want a lighter font or a bolder font, it's actually cool of this one, how it's so thin. It reminds me of the previous generation of iOS. There's a couple more fonts that are brand new. If we go right into the home screen, as you can see, the widgets are now interactive, which is awesome. As you can see right here, if I'm actually tapping this, my lights will automatically turn on. The Apple Music widget will allow us to play music directly from the home screen, and it will actually change depending on the color of the playlist or of the actual album, which is cool. All right, I'm currently in my desk setup, and I wanted to show you the new standby mode in iOS 17 because it's by far one of my favorite features because once you put your iPhone in landscape mode with a dock or whatever, you can change it to do whatever you want. So you can put the calendar, your reminders, the stock, it's super awesome, and especially if you want to put it like in a bed stand or in your desk. How cool is this? I mean, come on. Let's jump right inside of iMessage because there's a lot that has been changed in iMessage. First of all, this new share icon has a new UI and it's way much more simpler to choose our different um, things that we want. Something that I've always wanted is this. I can actually reply to a message by simply swiping, which is a dream come true. Let's open up stickers, which is a brand new feature on iOS 17 because we can actually grab an emoji and just place it up on the top. Pietro's probably gonna be like, why is he sending me a heart? And what's cool about stickers as well is they can actually create your own stickers from your photo library. So let's tap this photo of myself. And as you can see, it actually detected the diff already. So I can simply tap on add sticker. As you can see, it already added me as a sticker, so I can just simply drag and drop it right here. He's probably be like, why is he sending me a heart and a yellow sticker right now? Can't wait to see his reaction. There's a couple changes for voice memos in iMessage because let's be real, voice messages on iOS always kind of suck, but they now don't suck, which is exciting because you can now listen to a voice memo directly on your lock screen. So you can basically leave iMessage and keep listening to the voice memo before if you just left iMessage, it stopped listening. So you have to just sit there and listen to it. You can now do other things and still listen to the voice memo. Thank you. Apple. The search bar also looks extremely different if we type in kernel, for example. As you can see, all of the messages that have somebody that has said um, the word kernel, they will appear like this with the different um, people that have actually said it. Since we're in iMessage, let me show you the new memojis. There's a couple new ones, such as this one is new, this one is also new, and this one is also new. These three are brand new memojis. The one like this, the one with the thingy and the one like this feature is also brand new and it's called check-in and what check-in will basically do is let your friend know you're safe or you've arrived to a destination and your iPhone will actually keep up with your progress so you can actually send the data like full access or limited access so you can actually give him full and you can actually send a check-in so let's say you know you're going to the club and you're going back home you want to let your friends know you're safe you can just send a check-in and your friends will know and if your battery dies it will notify them and it will notify you of the location and the service that you actually have. It's super awesome and I love these safety features that Apple is adding to the iPhone and to the Apple Watch. Autocorrect has also been slightly improved. Let me type in hello wrong. As you can see, it automatically corrects it, but it also highlights it 
So I can go back to what I was intentionally saying or, or it will give me different options to what I did want to say. So if I did want to write heli, it will let me write heli. Has it ever happened to you that you're trying to write a word that's just even made up or in a different language and autocorrect just keeps autocorrecting it. It's like, no, I want to write that. I don't want to write that. Well, this is that. I hope that made sense. This is a new feature that I love. So if you go inside of settings, screen time, and then screen distance, this is brand new because there's a lot of kids that are just like this all day. And maybe not a lot of kids, but adults that just don't see anything and they're just so close to their screen. Well, let me tell you, it's not really good for your eye health. What screen distance will do is it will basically detect your eye and it will make you tell you, hey, you should get away from your phone. So let's press continue and how it works and basically show you how it works. It's basically a, a screen shield, a position guide. So yes, I'm actually gonna turn that on. So this right here is also brand new, which is a new contact poster. As you can see, we now get a new full screen photo of the actual contact. But what's coolest about it is, let me go ahead and go in my contact card. You see this, contact photo and poster. I can actually create the poster. So whenever I call somebody, the poster that I created, the other person will see. So what Apple is trying to do is, instead of you creating a contact for every single person, each person will create their own contact and it will basically show up. So let's tap on edit and there's a bunch of them that we can actually customize and we don't only have to do one. So let's go ahead and create one. We can either choose a photo or a emoji. Let's go ahead and tap on a photo. Let's tap on this one right here. That looks pretty good, right? Can actually make that orange since my jacket was, was orange. Can actually change the font as well. There you go, that looks pretty good. I can change the different design styles. If I want, if I want it like this, I can also change the background color if I wanna make everything orange or if I just want, I think that looks pretty good. I simply press done. So now whenever some I call someone, can also change the contact photo. Let me do it just like that. That looks pretty good. And there you go. If I tap this right here, name and photo sharing, anybody that calls me now will show them this contact photo and this incoming call UI. I love, absolutely, absolutely love this new contact. I love it. So have you ever been in this situation where you call someone through FaceTime, but your friend doesn't answer, but you're in the moment and you want to show your, your dog to, to your mom, but your mom doesn't pick up or you want to show your friend this, this cool new Funko Pop that you got and your friend doesn't answer. Well, Apple has a solution for you. As you can see, Robert is currently unavailable. So it now either lets you call again or record a video. So let's say something to Robert. Well, it currently doesn't work because we're once again, iOS 17 beta one, but you can now see send I wanted to show Robert my new X-Wing. Anyways, you can now send videos to so like video voicemails through FaceTime so you can actually keep showing the person that you wanted to show and just send them a video. How awesome is that? There's a couple new features on AirDrop now. If we tap on AirDrop, my devices will be separate from your not devices. Something mind blowing that is currently not in the beta is name drops. What name drop will be is if you basically hold an iPhone within another one, it will show up this contact information. So you're able to share your contact info with another person. If you're at the club, I mean, if you want to flirt, I'm, I I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just giving you some help. CarPlay also got an awesome new feature in iOS 17, which I actually made a dedicated video about that. Links are down below in the description if you wanna check that out. You can now do SharePlay inside of CarPlay, so multiple people can connect to CarPlay, and each one of those people in the car can actually play a song through the car. So now, you know, let's say you're in the car with your family or your friends and you're going on a road trip, the person who's DJing in the car the person who has the phone is the only person that can play through music. If another person wants to play a song, they can disconnect or grab the other person's phone. And it's not the most ideal thing. So what Apple has done is simply everybody connects through CarPlay within a QR code and it just works and anybody can play their music at the same time. I mean, you know, separate time, but you know. The Health app now has this beautiful new gradient and slight redesign. And then if we go on browse and state of mind, we will now be able to log our emotions. So by simply pressing track, 
you'll be to, you'll be able to let the health app know how you're feeling. And what's cool about this, apart from this super sick animation, is that you can do it on the watch as well. But you can see the progress on how you've been with your mental health throughout the month. If we go inside of Safari, this tabs menu has been slightly redesigned with this tab on the here. Then if we swipe left, we now get our private tab and the private browsing is now locked. So you'll have to access with your password. So your private browsing is now more private than ever because you have to unlock it with your password. Apple Maps will now let you download a specific map offline. So let's say you're traveling somewhere, take uh, Perpignan, for example, in France, and you don't have data, you can actually download a specific area. So if you don't have service, you'll be able to access everything just fine. Over here, it tells you how much um, storage you're actually wasting. So here I'm wasting 112 megabytes, but as further as you want it, obviously the larger your storage will be. For example, downloading like an entire city is around three gigabytes. So if you go in a specific area when you're traveling, you can download that, which is, you know, super useful. You simply press download and it will start downloading it automatically. The new photos app now detects pets and you can actually put names to your pets. So as you can see, here's all of the photos that I have from Apple and it's super cool that I have them all organized within a contact and Apple is actually part of the family, which is awesome. Something else that's cool is if, if you tap on a dog, you now get this dog icon on the bottom and it basically lets you know which breed you're actually looking to. And what's cool is you get the actual dog icon now in iOS 17. If you tap that, it will tell you that this dog is a chocho and show you different images from chochos. Chow chows, chochos, how's it pronounced in English? The Photos app will also now detect different monuments and landmark. As you can see, I can actually tap on landmark and it will automatically detect that that landmark is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. While we're in the Photos app, you can also select now a specific image and add it as a sticker. So you simply press add sticker and it will go automatically to your sticker collection in your keyboard. How cool is that? And once you're here, you can hold and then tap on add effect and you can add different effects for your stickers. If you want a comic look and outline look, you can do it straight from there. Your AirTag is now shareable with your friends and family. Let's say you have an AirTag with your TV remote or with your house keys. You can actually share your keys and your TV remote AirTags with the family members around your house. So the AirTag doesn't only have one owner now, you can add multiple owners to one AirTag. As you can see right here, you can now add a link to a word or to a paragraph in Apple Notes. You do that by simply selecting a word or a paragraph and then over here, you'll see the add link icon. And then you simply add the link that you want to add. And there you go. You've now added a link to a specific word. So if you tap that, it will go straight to the website that you just put on. Inside of the fitness app, we get a couple new features as well. First of all, we now get trainers tips. So every single week we'll get a new tip from our trainer from Apple Fitness Plus. This one is from Bakari here, which is cool. You'll get one every single uh, month. And then if we go on our sharing, this has been completely redesigned. We can see the highlights of our friends. So when you're in a FaceTime call, you'll now get different video effects. For example, you get studio lighting, so your face will all be lit up. Portrait, so your background is all blurred and reactions. Now reaction is currently a little bit buggy right now, but it will get better over time. But if you basically do one thumbs up, it will show a thumbs up. If you do two thumbs up, a bunch of fireworks will fireworks will go on if you do a heart a heart will do up so there's a bunch of different ones and it's cool and i can't wait till it actually you know works to keep on trying it in terms of apple music there's so many new features and changes such as this beautiful animated artwork that's full screen but if you want to know everything that's new in apple music tap this right here and watch os 10 has over 50 new features and changes so you can tap that right there thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next one peace